Hi guys, I'm Patrick WWDC and today we are going to start making our, making our first step. So I was thinking what should I do and then Jakey Brown recommended me to do the map kit and the text input. So there will be on the screen right now link to the video and part of the video uh, that I made about a year ago I think. And yeah, now we are going to do it exactly the same almost, but in Swift. So let's begin. First thing that you want to do is create a single view application, call it map kit tutorial that to do Swift for iPhone. For now we'll be doing Universal and iPad apps soon. And just create it. And now we have created it. So the first thing that you want to do, yes, so you know, is disable these landscapes because it's just annoying me when I accidentally turn my iPhone around and then the whole screen does its thing. So I'll be doing the iPhone scene portrait. I'll grab map view, drag it to the whole screen, and then we are going to set it so it actually is whole screen by clicking here and selecting all of them. Like this. And now what you want to do is actually we need to open assistant editor and create a property for the map view we are going to call it just map view but also we need to import map kit import map kit and now there is no error anymore so map view Dot shows user location. We are going to make it show user location. We are going to set delegate to self. So to this class, and we <coughs> do the delegate like this. We just do comma mk map view delegate. Let's go. And now, I'm sorry. And now, what you want to do is map view. No, I'm sorry. Now, what you want to do is just for now, we are going to start the app. Come on, come up actually. If you have the 21 and a half inch Mac, iMac that I have, uh, the iPhone 6 Plus doesn't actually fit in it, so it's kind of, you need to scroll in the simulator. So I'm going to do iPhone 6, and yeah, let's wait a second, so we can get Come on. Oh, I forgot. I should have opened the simulator before actually starting the recording, but no big deal. Actually, what should now happen it is it shouldn't ask for permission because that's something new in Swift. This version I tried it on the 8.0 and yeah finally it's up and running and can you see the opening finally yeah it's looking good finally it's launching or 
let's go, we can do this. Come on. And it crashed. That's exactly what I thought it would happen. And yeah. That's basically. So what you wanna do is open info.yoris and what the hell? Okay, info.yoris. You want to add information property list? What's going on? Oh, it was that one. But actually, yeah, let's try to like it again. Now it's going to be faster. Come on. It's running. But it won't show to user location because must call location manager request when in use authorization or request always authorization. We are going to do so you want to add this and write it's a bit long ns location always usage description and now here want mapkit tutorial tutorial wants to Send your location to developer. I'm just kidding. But wants to have access to to your location. And now oops. Now what you wanna do is just CL location manager dot request always authorization but we need to import no we don't need that I thought we did we would need to import the core location but this is okay and now Oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe we need to import. Let's go the way the core location with the variable CL location manager. No, I need to call it first location manager. CL location manager. And now I need to location manager equal CL location manager location manager request always authorization that should do it. Sometimes it doesn't work on the simulator, but on your device it should work. Oh, it works. So MapKit tutorial wants to have access to your location. That's the exact thing that we wrote here. So we are going to allow, allow it, and for some reason, let's try that again, and we need to simulate some location like London, and then if we go to London, we should, well that's weird, Okay, yeah, that hasn't happened to me before. Let me just see what it is and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so right now I'm running it on my iPhone and it's working without any problem. I don't know what, what's the thing. 
I really don't know. Yeah, so you need to help to believe me on this one. Yeah. That's it, basically. It works. So that's the new thing that you need to do this, because if there is no this line, and as location always use the description, the uh, quest always authorization wouldn't work at all. So yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we are going to start doing the thing where you write down something and it make it drops a pin with that text that you wrote. That's going to be in the next tutorial. And finally, we are going to make something that is going to track you and draw a line. And that's going to be about the tutorials of the map view and map queue. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.